In this video, we're going to be taking a look at constructing a hyperbola. So first of all, let's plot two points, call them the foci. Let's draw a circle around one of the foci. The radius of this circle is going to be F2 to D. Let's draw a line through point D on the circle that goes through the center of the circle as well. Now we're going to draw a line that goes from point D through the other focus. I'm going to get rid of the line and just keep the segment D to F1. I'm going to find the midpoint of that segment and draw the perpendicular bisector of segment D to F1. The place where the perpendicular bisector intersects D to F2, we're going to label that point P. From our understanding of geometry, we hopefully remember that any point along the perpendicular bisector will be equidistant to the endpoints of the segments. Therefore, P to F1 is the same value as P to D. Now, why would we want to do this? Well, the definition of a hyperbola is that it is the locus of points P that has a difference in the distances to two foci being a constant amount. So here in our animation, we can see a sketch of this particular locus. Now let's take a look at the algebra that goes along with this particular geometric representation. Please pause the video at any point in time if you'd like to go through the algebra of this more slowly. Initially, we set things up such that segment PD was the sum of segments P to F2 plus F2 to D. Since PD and PF1 are the same amount by our perpendicular bisector, then by substitution, I can substitute here in red PF1 instead of PD. By subtracting PF2 from both sides of the equation, you get that PF1 minus PF2 is equal to F2D. And that amount stays the same. It's a constant. So therefore, we can see here that the definition of a hyperbola does indeed hold true. But hey, wait a second. I need to know more. What kinds of interesting characteristics do hyperbolas have? In one of our follow-up videos, we will explore how do I derive the equation for hyperbola and what are some of its characteristics. 